everyone, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in as always. And you join me today on the main Neiman Road here in Chiang Mai. Not been around here for a while in a video, so I thought I'd come and do a bit of a walk and talk around here, show you guys the area, see what things are like, while going into the topic of this video, which, as the title suggests, when Thailand becomes normal. Now, what does that actually mean? What am I trying to get across? So yeah, I want to go across that in this video now flip the camera so you can see exactly where we are see what we can get up to see what we can look at now if you guys have seen my channel a lot you've seen a few of the videos you'll see that i absolutely love the place love thailand wouldn't change living here for anything but there are things that yeah i would i would change uh, not necessarily the fact that i love thailand doesn't mean that i love everything about it which i think is normal that's normal for everywhere that you can live but there seems to be some people, like a few people, who don't want to hear anything negative whatsoever about the place. And I've personally found that those people are generally people who haven't actually been here for long enough, or perhaps they don't even live in the country, they've been on holiday a few times, and they can only picture Thailand as a holiday destination, whether they've spent time in the past on a short-term basis and never have actually lived here. So I wanted to make this video to go over you know exactly how I feel because to me Thailand is normal I'm walking now this is not a holiday vibe this is a hundred percent normal it feels more normal than I would feel in the country that I came from because I've spent literally my entire adult life in the country so when somebody comments go home please and all this nonsense this is home I live here Okay, I don't have a visa that says I can live here permanently. I need to renew it every year. But this is home. This is where I live. This is where I love. I won't change living here for the world. I want to live here and I love everything about it. Most things, should I say, not everything. And I found recently, I, when you make videos, there's always the, you know, the apologist who will take every negative aspect, will take everything and say, well, that's how it is, like it or leave which I don't necessarily think is the best way to go about things. Are well, they selling that there? Didn't even realize that was for sale. Expensive, I bet. <laughs> so yeah, what I'm trying to get across is that it, when Thailand becomes normal, you look at it in a different light. You don't look at, oh wow, this is so new, this is so different, this is so exciting, I'll put up with all this stuff I don't like. You look at it like, this is normal, and there are a couple of things that I don't like. As I've talked about before, how difficult to, be get a per to become a permanent resident, etc. I, I, I dislike that. I don't think there's anything wrong with disliking that, because that's my personal opinion. I'm going to hook a right down here. Pretty busy around Neiman today, as we can see. Awesome place. Yeah, I've uh, thinking about one of those. Maybe getting another condo at the end of the year. Very, very big, maybe. Because I'm really happy with the way that's going. But, yeah, we'll have to wait and see for... A, another six months at least um, on that but yeah like I say to me Thailand is normal this is my this is my normal and walking around here it doesn't feel anything other than normal now when I went to Malaysia last year that didn't feel normal that felt new and exciting maybe that's why I liked it so much because it felt new because it felt like you were on holiday but if you live in Thailand for a long time your perspectives your opinions and your ideas will a hundred percent change because that's what happens so if you're one of these people who can't say anything wrong about anything or you can't have any sort of justification to say anything negative, that only means that you haven't been here long enough. That's all that that means. Because if you like everything about everything, then you're not actually experiencing proper life. Perhaps you've been here for a long time before they retired, you're not working, you don't have anything to do. Yeah, I get that. But when you're working here, when you've got stuff to do, it's different. And I wanted to sort of get across that in this video so that you know, people understand where I'm coming from. This is normal. Therefore, what do you do to improve your normal? Well, I, I think to improve Thailand, well, foreigners should be able to get residence easily. Um, and I'm not 100% fond of how expensive land is uh, in comparison to salaries. Lots of things like that. But that doesn't mean that I don't love the place. No, no way at all. It doesn't mean that even in the slightest. 
And I think that's how people misinterpret what I'm trying to say in some videos. Now, as you see, I like to make property videos, I like to make videos about all kinds of stuff related to Chiang Mai. I'm trying to promote Chiang Mai as an amazing place to live for expats. I want more people to move here because I think it's fantastic. But I'm not going to lie and pretend to like certain things that I don't like because what's the point? What you see is what you get on this channel. This is my honest opinion, trying to promote Chiang Mai, trying to promote the country of Thailand. I would love more people to move here. i uh, love to build a community with you guys. That's what I'm trying to do. But you often get people commenting strange things, completely misinterpreting what you're saying. And I think that's what, you know, one of the things that goes together with YouTube and making videos is you've got to be able to accept stuff like that, which I can. But I feel sorry for the people who, who will leave these comments. More often the case when you're perhaps on somebody else's channel um, and you get completely ripped into by complete fools who have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. So, yeah, that's one thing that I've uh, wanted to raise in this video. If you are living in Thailand for a long time, and by long time I mean long time, you could be here for five years and you might be. Now, you may, maybe say you're turning 45, you've been here since you're 40. Is that normal yet? Because your vast majority of your life hasn't been in the country. When Thailand becomes normal for you, then sort of share your opinions about things. Now, share your opinions now, don't get me wrong. Everyone is free and entitled to share their own opinion as soon as they want. But I tend to... My personal opinion is that you've got to wait for Thailand to become normal before you can honestly have a conversation with somebody about certain things before you can rip into someone and lay into someone telling them to go home then well perhaps consider how long you've been here and the fact that you perhaps might not find it normal yet does that make sense guys <laughs> i think that potentially makes sense anyway the salad concept on the right here awesome awesome place to eat Hillside Pondo is my favorite over there, the Hillside 3. And this is the Hillside 2. Prices seem to have gone up. I can't have seen anything online for less than 1.8 million in, in Hillside 3. My favorite condominium. If you guys know why, then you know why. <laughs> but yeah, nothing under 1.8. Potentially, I'd, like, I'd be interested in another one. But I want it at the same price that I bought at. And I, there aren't any for sale. So anyway, the main Neiman Road is here. And yeah, before we finish the video, like I said, if you want to leave a negative comment on the channel, fine, that's fine. Feels, please feel free to do that. But don't try and hold the high ground over somebody because you're only taking it from your own narrow-minded opinion. Now, I know that my opinions may also be narrow-minded, but I appreciate and accept that anybody has the right to have an opinion about something. And I would never lay into someone telling them to go home if they disagreed with me. I would take on board their disagreement. I would take on board what they're saying and try and learn how I can not feel like that at some point in the future. Everyone's experience, everyone's way of life, everyone's ability to live in Thailand is of interest to me because I'm like them. We, we all love to live in Thailand. We all want to live here. So I'll take on everyone's opinion. I struggle with the type of people who say everything's perfect they don't dislike anything. That to me is harder to believe. Anyway, really appreciate you guys watching. It means the absolute world. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers guys, really appreciate it. Yeah, and see you soon.